<laughs> In the land of Hyrule, there echoes a legend, a legend held dearly by the royal family that tells of a boy. A boy who, after battling evil and saving Hyrule, crept away from the land that had made him a legend. Done with the battles he once waged across time, he embarked on a journey, a secret and personal journey. A journey in search of a beloved and invaluable friend. A friend with whom he parted ways when he finally fulfilled his heroic destiny and took his place among legends. Hello everybody, it's Sephiroth 4 for a brand new Let's Play, Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask. This Let's Play, it's going to be fun. Um, you probably have all seen this game, so I don't think I'm really ruining the cutscene here, but I just want to lay down a few things. If you don't know, this game has a three-day cycle. That's, that's the mechanic of the game. Um, I'm not going to really talk much over this cutscene. I just want to say I'm not going to be trying to... I'm not going to try to speedrun the game, okay? I'm going to take this game at the pace that I want. Just putting that out there now to start the Let's Play off. Yeah, so there's Link on his horse. This game takes place after uh, the events of Ocarina of Time. <laughs> yeah, so already off to a fun start. Let's... Link gets, uh, I was about to call him Zelda. Link gets knocked off his horse, and that's creepy. It's even creepier. But it's just a mask. <laughs> you two fairies did great. I wonder if he has anything good on him. Huh? This guy. Well, that shouldn't be a problem. Yeah, that's the voice I'm giving him. What are you going to do about it? Yeah. Link is pretty pathetic if that's that's all it took to knock him out. Oh, and of course he goes straight for the ocarina. No, you know, if you play an ocarina of time, you know, he has the ocarina, but he also has bombs, arrows, uh, hookshot, uh, you know, s all sorts of things that are much better than an ocarina. But anyway. Ooh, what a pretty ocarina! Oh, I'm sorry, this is, um, this is one of the fairies. Oh, what a pretty ocarina! Hey, Skull Kid, let me touch it! I want to see! I just, for some reason, I just really like this. It's just... <laughs> it's just... It's just funny. Especially since he's blowing on the ocarina through the mask. You can't tell! Yeah, so the darker one is to L. It's a boy. What would we do if you dropped and broke it? No way, you can't touch it! Aw, but sis, what, why can't I try it out too? Oh, oh god, what a night. Uh, look at that expression. It's like, are you friggin' kidding me? I'm the hero of time. This game has a lot of comedy in it. Also, why would the... If you played Ocarina of Time, Link actually had dealings with the Skull Kid. So, I don't know. I'm not going to spoil much for the game. I mean, the game doesn't really say it. it. It implies certain things, but... I don't know. There's certain parts of the game I'm just like, I don't know. I don't know. But yeah, aside from the first episode here, which is obviously going to be a lot of cutscenes and events, I'm going to try to keep the episodes short. I'm going to try to keep them between 15-20 uh, minutes, uh, depending on what I do, just uh, for ease and such. But yeah, now we are in control of Link, it's pretty much the regular stuff. I'm playing this on the GameCube version, so uh, there's going to be like a little bit difference between stuff. Um, yeah, so you hold, you use B for your sword, hold it down for a little spin attack. We don't have any magic, so we can't do anything with that. Um, you know, the control stick is move, L is targeting, and change the camera, R is shield. It's pretty much the same as, uh, you know, Ocarina of Time's controls. I mean, this game is pretty much... I have my own theories on the game, like some people have certain theories, but I don't know, I have, I have theories of my own, but uh, I just wanna, I just like how these are arranged, and all of a sudden it starts moving away, creepy. This, this definitely gives a very good impression that 
uh, the world that we're about to enter is is different and strange. I mean, all of a sudden the grass is alive. There's this huge hole. Like, you know, it it makes it feel that, you know, this isn't uh, Hyrule anymore. You know, we're not in Kansas anymore. Falling through the rabbit hole, more uh, symbolism. And all these pictures here, it's just... You know, it's giving you the impression that, that something strange is happening. Something weird. And I love it. I This is one of my favorite Zelda games. Uh, just because of the, the difference that it has. And yeah, so he has his own little spotlight. I like how the spotlights also have, you know, like little pictures in them. It's not just lights, it's, it's like carnival lights. What's that stupid horse of yours? It doesn't listen to a word that's said to it. Okay, that's his voice now. Also, I like how the mask's eyes glow. There's no point in hiding a thing like that, so I did you a favor and got rid of it. Hee <laughs> hee. Aw, oh, Boo Boo, why this sad face? I just thought I'd have a little fun with you. Oh, come now, do you really think you could beat me as I am now? Fool! And crazy stuff going on. This introduces the game's, I guess, main uh, character mechanic? Where, where, what are we? Okay, now we're surrounded by Deku Scrubs, yay! I just love stuff like this because, like, it's creepy. It's It has, like, horror elements to it, and you're running away, and all of a sudden there's this giant one chasing after you. Like, you can't get away from it, and it engulfs you. It's just very well done. Also, there is a hazard symbol on the ground there for some reason. And we seem to have changed form. And there's a nice little upskirt shot of, of a Deku Link. That's what this is. We are now a Deku Scrub. <laughs> now that's a good look for you. You'll stay here looking that way forever. No. No. Ow. Oh, ow. oh, come on, Link. Being bullied by a fairy. Sis! Whoop. Well, Looks like someone got left behind. I like how they have little bell sounds. Whoa, whoa, Skull, get away from me! I'm still here! Tell, you can't leave without me! Like hell we will. Yeah. You! If I wasn't dealing with you, I wouldn't have gotten separated from my brother! If I wasn't being a bully, bad stuff wouldn't have happened to me. Well, don't just sit there, Deku boy, and do something! Why are you looking at me like that? What, is there something stuck in my face? Will you stop staring and just open that door for me? Please, come on, help us little girls ask you, so hurry up! I'm pretty sure the reason why Link is doing that is that, uh... She looks a lot like, uh, a uh, lot like Navi. Who, like, you know, Link obviously doesn't have with him. Wonder if that child will be alright on his own. Yeah, worry about the thing with the mask of incredible power, and don't worry about Deku Link. Yeah, so now we are Deku Link. I love the look on, on his face, it's just very sad and forlorn. Like, you know, this is this is uh, the fate that, uh, that we have, and we're kind of stuck with it. So yeah, his main mechanic is that, obviously, he's a Deku. Uh, you press A on these flowers here, and you can burrow into them, and when it does like that little burp over there, you can go and uh, fly out for a limited distance. Um, it's not for a certain amount of time, although if you stand and still, if you stand still, you do slowly go down. But uh, each flower has a radius, and that's the the main thing. And if you press A, uh, you, you see you don't have a sword, obviously. But if you press A, you do this awesome spin on one foot, and you leave a little track in the ground. It's great. And uh, R is uh, is like a shell shield, which is pretty cool. But let's go to the, open the door. I don't know how we can open it with our frail little uh, wuss hands, but. Uh, you know, Tattle over there can. That's her name, Tattle. T A T L. Wait, hey, wait, wait don't. <laughs> Blah. Hey, wait for me. Don't leave him behind. Uh, so I'm that stuff back there. I apologize, so. So take me with you! Okay. You wanna know about that skull kid who ran off, right? Well, I just so happen to have an idea of where you might be going. Take me with you and I'll help you out. Deal? Please? Okay. Yay! Now I'll be your partner, at least until we catch it, Skull Kid. My name's Tattle. Oh, so uh, it's nice to meet you, or whatever. 
now that we got all that straightened out, we can stop messing around and get moving. If I figure something out, press up and I'll teach you. Hopefully you'll manage to get by without my help until then. Yeah, I've played this game before. Don't worry. I'm like, I don't know what the hell you're talking about. What's what's up? Yeah, so we don't need to... She's going to just tell us to use this to get across. So, good times. I, I really like look, just there's just the flowers and... They just did a very nice job with, with how that... Uh, how that goes. So, yeah, let's walk forward here. And we can't fly all the way to the right first. We have to make our way around the room. But there's also some stuff to get on the way. So, yeah. So it's pretty much just, you know, this is introductory, introductory stuff to Decolink, which is pretty awesome. Uh, there's a chest here, so you just have to go up and press A on the chest. And we get a Deku, not press B while flying to drop a Deku bomb. Upon impact, it makes a blinding flash, freezing enemies in their tracks. So we're not going to use that yet, but it's pretty cool. You automatically have the option. Uh, you automatically have the option when you uh, start flying. See? And uh, it's uh, it's pretty good if you're flying above and you're about to land in a nest of enemies or something. You could just use that to uh, to stun them and then just drop into their ranks and kaboom, kabam, kabim, they're all dead. Yeah, so you're gonna drop here automatically, and then she's gonna be like, "Hey, you, press L and talk to me." Okay, so this is the introduction of L targeting. Let's press up on the control stick here. There you go. See, you can do it if you try. When I fly over to people or objects, use L to look at them so you can talk to them. Use L targeting to talk to people even if they're far away. <sighs> and you can use it to look straight ahead, but enough about that. Come over here to this tree and check it out! Yeah, so this is creepy as all hell. When I first played this game, I was like, dude, what is this? Something I really, it's strange, but the way you look right now, it sort of looks like this tree. It looks all dark and gloomy, almost like it could start crying any second now. How sad. Yeah, so this this game has a lot of unanswered questions that leave it up to you to think about, and I love that. Hey, this corridor's all twisted! No, I'm not gonna start that. <laughs> but yeah, now we are... Trapped! No, well, kind of. You can never go back there, unfortunately. But yeah, this game leaves a lot to, to your imagination, which is one of the reasons why I love it. Because a lot of the mysteries it just makes you think, and like it, it makes you try to discuss some things. And one second, I just need to make the volume louder on this TV. Just a little bit. The, the music here is unbelievable. The music in this game in general, I love it. So let's just look around the room. Okay, look around the room. And if you press up on the control stick when Tattle's not trying to talk to you, you can go to first person view and see all sorts of cool stuff. So let's, let's leave. <laughs> You've met with a terrible fate, haven't you? This guy is creepy. If you played Ocarina of Time, you know who this is. <laughs> I own the Happy Mask Shop. I travel far and wide in search of masks. During my travels, a very important mask was stolen from me by an imp in the woods. So here I am at a loss, and now, I've found you. Now, don't think me rude, but I have been following you. For I know of a way to return you to your former self. If you can get back the precious item that was stolen from you, I will return you to normal. In exchange, all I ask is that you also get back my precious mask that the imp stole from me. What? Is it not a simple task? Why to someone like you it should be by no means a difficult task? Except, the one thing is, I'm a very busy fellow. And I must leave this place in three days. How grateful I would be if you could bring it back to me before my time here is up. <laughs> but yes, you'll be fine. I see you are young and have tremendous courage. I'm sure you'll find it right away. Well then, I am counting on you.
That guy is one of the creepiest characters in the game. Yep, happy mask salesman right there. And if you take a look at his mask, everybody's pointed this out, but this is my let's play, I'll do it anyway. Take a look at his mask, there's a Mario on the back, there's a just various stuff, there's a rock thing. Um, this, the thing you'll, you see on his, if I can get around him, the thing you see on his uh, uh, right shoulder there is actually, um, you'll see it on something later in the game. So yeah, let's go out here. Dawn of the first day, 72 hours remain. Now we are apparently in South Clock Town. So we were in a giant clock tower over there. And this is the, the this town, South Clock, oh, not South Clock Town, but he gives me the creeps. The mask salesman was the, sorry, just thinking aloud. But three days, even if we never sleep, that still leaves us with a measly 72 hours. Talk about demanding. Well, don't just stand there. We're going to see the Great Fairy. Look, you want to find the Skull Kid, don't you? The Great Fairy will know what he's up to. She watches over everything. And just between you and me, the Skull Kid is no match for the Great Fairy. Foreshadowing! Go to the shrine near the North Gate. You'll find the Great Fairy in there. Yeah, so this is going to be the main hub of the game. Clock Town. Uh, it's a puppy! Hello, you cute little puppy. Who's your kid? No? Oh well, at least. And he can swim, that's not fair. But yeah, you can see on the bottom there's a clock that's moving. The little sun is the minute hand. And it's moving quite fast, actually, which means that either Link is very, very slow or time is very, very fast. But um, we are at. Uh, I think this is a good point to stop. I'm not going to, to do the first three day cycle as some people would. In the first episode, I'm um, just I'm just gonna take this this let's play slowly. But yeah, now we're in North Clock Town. When you go to each new area, it it's just gives it to you. We'll start just but we'll end the episode off by talking to this weirdo over here. What's this? Green clothes, white fairy. Sir, could you by chance be a forest fairy? <laughs> oh my! <laughs> my name is Tingle. I think I'm the same as you, sir, forest fairy. <laughs> Alas, though I have already aged 35, no fairy has come to me yet. My father tells me to grow up and at my age, but why? I tell you, Tinkle is the very reincarnation of a fairy. Now while I stand here waiting for a fairy, my order sell maps to help out my father. Lucky, lucky, you're so lucky to have a fairy. I know, I know, we should be friends. Yes, yes, in exchange I will sell you a map for cheap as a sign of my friendship. Will you buy one of Tingle's maps? Yeah, so let's get a map of Clock Town. We have enough of that. Yippee! <laughs> he is so weird, but he's a fan favorite of this game as like the weirdest character like to come out of Zelda. So yeah, we have a map of Clock Town now and good times are ahead of all. Well, call again! Oh, you and your boxes. <laughs> These are the magic words that Tingle created himself. Don't steal them. Tingle, Tingle, Kolo Limba, Tingle, Tingle, Kolo Limba. Ha! Ah, yes, I stole them. And no, um, don't buy his other maps because you get them cheaper when you're actually in the area. You'll see him in all parts of the game, so don't worry. Uh, unfortunately. So yeah, in the next episode, we actually don't have to be in North Clock Town. Uh, I'll let it off the episode here. In the next episode, we will go to the Great Fairy or well, take steps to at least. Uh, this has been Several to Level 4 with Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask. Thank you very much for watching. Goodbye, everybody. Bye-bye.